pigeon stretch. This is a kind of classic yoga position. Start on your hands and knees, bring your right knee toward your hands. Right foot is kind of across the body and then you're just laying down over your front knee. The back leg can just relax. You can kind of straighten out the foot. Let the leg go straight. And then you just want to kind of curl over the body. Now I'm, I'm getting low. I'm getting the elbows all the way down. I'm getting the forehead all the way down to my hands. If your back or your hip doesn't allow you to do that, then don't force anything. Never want to force anything, but, uh, you know, go as far as you are able to go comfortably where you feel like you have enough of a stretch to actually do something, but you're not overtaxing yourself. Consistency is always more important than intensity. So even in this seemingly very basic exercise, you don't want to force anything. You want to just let your body do what it wants to do. We're going to switch in just a couple seconds to the other side. Go ahead and switch now. So left foot's coming across the body toward the right side of the body. Right leg's going all the way out straight. And then you're just kind of relaxing into it. You can let your head drop down onto your arms. Breathe into your abdominals and even laterally and even into your back just to let everything stretch and relax. Ideally, you're doing nothing here. So you, you want to find a point where you can just relax into it. Again, if you're not very flexible, you're not going to be able to relax. You're going to have to put some pressure into either your elbows or, or perhaps even your hands to get your chest farther away from your knee and the floor. And that's totally fine. Again, you're going to progress into this at your body's pace. So keep breathing for the remaining 10 seconds. Continue on to the next exercise. Here we go.